Hey y'all, what is up YouTube? Sparky Mark and Mark here back from vacationing, of course. Um, and this time I have a package that just got delivered today, not when I came back, like about an hour or two later from coming back and unpacked and relaxed. And now, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in here? Hmm? Huh? Say what? What the heck? Did I get swindled? Did I get swindled or something? I'm not pretty sure. Hmm. Hmm. Well, to know for anything. If any of you fans like to go, here it is. I'm gonna check that out later. What the heck? Did I get swindled or something? Oh, but wait. It's in the next room. And here it is. Right in front of you. The Texas, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Leatherface Retro Cloth Neck Figure. NECA, folks. Done by the artist by the name of Jason Knudsen. Here is his signature. There we go. Very, very carefully. Artwork. Very, very cool. Let's see the design on the villain. The hands that you can remove while using the weapon that you're about to see. Hmm. Hmm. There's the uh, grinder, whatever, the slicer thing that you cut bread with. Here's the chainsaw, his signature weapon, but it's huge. I'm talking big. Big chainsaw you ever seen. Of course, big chainsaw guys. So, to those who know about the first Texas Chainsaw that was played by Gunnar Hansen, this one was portrayed by three guys. In the opening of the sh of the film, where the bridge scene was done by stuntman actor Tom Morga in the bridge scene, like a thirty second insert shots. The stunt double was done by Bob Elmore. And apparently he had a, apparently his wrist was broken because the chainsaw in this movie weighed about 75 pounds, believe it or not. And the rest was a guy by the name of Bill Johnson. So three guys play Leatherface in this film, so pretty cool, pretty cool. And all in all, I mean, it is kind of a comedy feel, spoof, whatever, but it's great. Here's the details of what the look is, pretty cool. And here we go. Let's read the plot very quickly, folks. For a decade, Texas Ranger Lefty Enright sought to avenge the brutal murder of his kin by the cannibalistic Sawyer family. Leatherface, Chop Top, Cook, and Grandpa. With the help of Radio DJ, of a Radio DJ, who also bent on putting an end to the terror. Lefty finds his way to the Sawyer's underground butcher shop where a battle of epic proportions soon rages rages, and the, li and the line between good and evil gets chopped to bits. So yeah, this came out during the fall of 86 and Toby Hooper came back, but this time unfortunately it wasn't well, so yeah. Uh, Kim Hangel didn't come back to write the script, but Toby Hooper did because he had a three-picture deal with the company called Canon. So yeah, this came uh, this came out sometime around maybe 2015, 2016, or something like that. Hmm. When we get an update video, I'll tell you which is which. And of course, this is Real Toys by NECA. And let's take a good view of how the how this toy looks like. Yeah, folks, look at that, folks. This is how the villain poses with his saw, and here's his underground lair with, where he lives with his family. Whoa. To those who have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, better get it, dudes. Even the Screen Factories, but it is out of print as of about last year, so, hmm. Huh. Try getting that for a good deal. Thank God I got mine. If you have your regular editions, kudos for that. Arrow Video, you can still get it, but word of advice, boys and girls, and dudes and dudettes, it's all... I mean, it's Region B. It's Region 2, of course, from the United Kingdom. So you're going to need an all-region um, disc player 
or on your PS5. I don't know about the PS5 if you can play all region. So leave leave your answers in the comments down below. Let me know and such. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and liking it and such. So anyways, um, among other things, boys and girls, bet your, I mean, but let me know if your PS5 will play region locked discs from Aero Video or anywhere in Germany or United Kingdom, among other things. So anyways, this is, and now we're entering March. Huh? I was already in March already when I did that other video. So anyways, um, this is Spark, subscribe to my channel before I say, before I leave, signing off. Um, like my videos, comment or whatever. And of course, subscribe to my channel to be notified of any new uploads that's about to come up pretty soon or later in a week or two. So anyways, this is Sparky Mark and Mark signing off, y'all. Take care. God bless you. Catch you all in the next vid. Later.